Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Arsenic and Espresso, a podcast where we sometimes drink coffee, but we always talk about metal music. That's our intro. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Tonight's episode is another underground band. Yep. Called. Called Discontent. Discontent. Where are they? Wh- they wh- are. What do we know about them? They're from a place. No, they are from the Midwest. I think Michigan. Um, but they are. I think I remember you telling me that when you first started talking to them. Yeah. Um, and I, I know we want to um, end up scheduling an interview with them. And I think that adding interviews into what we do is be a really fun thing to do so if you guys want to see interviews with bands let us know um down in the comment section below we'd love to do it if people want it um but no they're from uh from the midwest they are a deathcore band um also underground um they you can find them on spotify i'll link that in the description as well so i really like deathcore um a lot but they're they're pretty heavy um yeah oh sorry (laughs) Um, it's very similar to like when we did the podcast talking about black metal, right? Yeah. I think deathcore is sort of the same thing of like, how can you one up each other? And you know, is your is your metal really heavy enough? Deathcore. I don't personally listen to a lot of it. I tend to like a little bit more melody in my metal music. I also like clean vocals as well as dirty vocals, and yeah, and I like uh, I like classical instruments thrown in there. Give me some cello. Give me a harpsichord, <laughs> and uh, and that's what makes me a happy camper. All right. Yeah. Well, so all that to say, I don't listen to much perfect. deathcore. Okay. Well, then that's exciting. Then let's uh, let's go ahead and get into this. I've listened to to all their songs so far. Um, I really love this band. Um, but I wanted to get your reaction, especially okay. if, as someone who doesn't listen to much. Okay. So. One of these days, I'm gonna listen to a song that like makes me want to headbang while we're filming yes that'll be fun anyway all right let's go what is the song called it is called no mercy no mercy by by discontent discontent all right ready, ready. This reminds me of the stuff that was always playing in your car when yeah. we first met in high school. And I would be like, yeah, this is so cool. Like, yeah, I, I like this too. <laughs> yes. It's not yeah. for everybody. I, I really don't think that, that Deathcore is for everybody. Um, but I think that there's a lot of stuff that you can appreciate about it. Um, so. It makes me want to be in a really poorly lit uh, venue. And I've, I, like, I can already feel like all the sweaty bodies of like giant men <laughs> in their like sweaty shirts and like chain necklaces okay. thrashing about the room. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so super heavy, super slush, mm-hmm. sludgy, right? Slushy. Super slushy, not not Seven Eleven. It's super sludgy, right? Yeah. Um, his vocals are really good. I like yeah. the the range of his his screams. Um, is it two? Is it the same vocalist, or is it two? Mm-hmm. Di- it's the same vocalist doing those like super deep growls and that yeah. like slightly higher pitched. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It uh, sounds like two different people. I so, might be wrong. Um, well, but I'm all that sure. like if it is yeah. one person like that. That's a lot of talent. That takes a lot of talent to be able to do those two completely separate yeah. sounds. Yeah. 
Do you remember the uh the video, the Jared Jared Dines video of like the gent gods, right? Oh with my the gosh. giant guitars yes. with like the yes. seventy two strings. Yeah, yes. I always think anytime I, I hear uh, like a genty sound, especially in like death metal, I'd... a degent sound. A degent, yes. Yes. Gent, yes. A DJ ent. DJ ent. Oh no. From Lord of the Rings. Get it. Okay. Keep going. So can I tell you why I don't typically like deathcore first? Yes. Because I feel that you bring all the intensity at the beginning of the song. Okay. And then there's not a lot of depth to the rest of the song. Okay. Because like you start off yeah. like so hard at the very beginning, right? Um, so that's typically why I don't like deathcore. Okay. Because I just feel like it, it starts loud, it stays loud, yeah. it ends loud, and there's not a lot of variance throughout the song. Okay. This song had a lot of variance. Yeah. There was a lot of depth to it. There was a lot of... Um, there, I, I can only... Okay, because I went to art school, I didn't go to music school, I, so I can only use art terms, but there was a lot of like use of negative space in the song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that, that is deathcore done right. I that, agree. I agree. I think, like, I didn't, I can't lie, you have put on other deathcore songs where I'm like, is this gonna end? Is the song gonna <laughs> stop? Like, yeah. please let me listen to something else. This, I didn't mind that it was a four minute song. I didn't mind that it was a long song. I I felt like, like, I, I enjoyed myself listening to it. I can't yeah. lie. Can't yeah. Lie. No, I, I think, um. It took me a while to really understand like the whole genre and everything and, and what's behind it. Mm-hmm. Um, and like I said, it's not for everybody, right? Um, but for me, I, I like putting on deathcore like when I'm um, editing thumbnails mm-hmm. or like doing something, you know, cleaning the house, whatever it is. Like, just... But also, do you think that has something to do with the fact that you are ADHD? Oh. 
because as someone who when the truth hits you right there (laughs) for real though for real like for myself i like my day typically like emotionally speaking Mm -hmm. consists of variances yeah. Right. Throughout my day. And 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 they're like they're like really soft peaks and valleys throughout the day where yeah. I feel like you as someone with ADHD, you're like up and down and up and down and up and down. And so I feel like because of things like that, it complements yeah. music. It doesn't rather it. It's not that it complements, but it doesn't like interfere oh, right. with how your day is going. It just it, it's it, good background. It music goes along with goes how with. your day is going. <laughs> yeah. And for myself. When I when I'm in like a soft valley, I want like like the heaviest thing I want to listen to in that soft valley is like um honestly evanescence. Like I don't I don't yeah. want to get much heavier than that. Right. Give me some evanescence, some breaking Benjamin down in that soft valley. And when I'm at like a little bit more hyper peak of energy, um I've been listening to a lot of trivium. I've been listening to a lot of um uh what has been on my playlist. I don't even know what's been on my my playlist renegades uh or not renegades i've been listening to equilibrium Mm. um that's a dope band too i've been listening to i mean as i lay dying always you know but so like that's that's like that's Mm. how i listen to music because i do listen based off the fluctuations in my mood yeah but regardless of your mood your emotions and like the state of your mind is at an extreme in yeah. one direction or another. I could, I could listen to, <laughs> to stuff like this all the time. It right. doesn't so matter. I feel, but yeah. I feel like it has to do like it, it, that is one of the reasons why you like it so much. Yeah. Because it, it literally sense. fits any part of your day, that any part of your mood, whenever, because you feel sense. your feelings, you experience your feelings more to an extreme than I mm. do. Does that make sense? That totally makes sense. Um, but we I are mean, not psych professors. No, don't take it. It might this. seem like we um, are, but uh, but no, like going back to that song though, um, I felt like they that's deathcore done right, mm-hmm. right? That is, um, it should be a journey. The whole song should be a journey, mm-hmm. um, for sure. Then, then there's a few songs that I feel are just filler, um, in. Um, and, and, and it's that's, safe to say like bands across the board there's always yeah, that song where they were like we're only at eight like, songs we need at least 12 even like the acacia strain which i feel has kind of like nailed that genre down really well mm-hmm. um i feel like they're even on their latest um drop what was it um decay right that was their latest um there's a couple of songs on there that i just feel are are, are too filler for me um and so i don't know the way it is but I really liked it. Do you want to go ahead and look at the lyrics? Yes. Also, to kind of go off on like why I don't typically like deathcore, I feel like deathcore is the genre of music that people hear and say metal music is just noise. Do you know what I mean? Well, and that that goes into to talking about like death metal as well. I mean, it, that's that's all it is. Is it, it's the same thing. So death metal did to metal what deathcore has done to the metalcore scene, kind of scene. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people just call it noise. A lot of people just call it, you know, it, they, it they made the, the screams the, more intense. They the way made, to generalize it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, but the um, the effects that are put into it, right? Sometimes they put in like movie clips. Sometimes they put in you know, other sound effects and stuff like that to kind of break it up. Um, and you don't see that in any other metal genre. It's just the death metal and like death core genres that really do that. Um, and I really think that that's neat. I think that they, they've done a really good job with that. Anyway, here are the lyrics to No Mercy. <clears throat> forever worthless, I serve no purpose. I was doomed to rot in this hell forever. Stuck in my head, begging for death. The rope at my neck, I say this with my last breath. I'm so fucked in the head, every second spent begging for death. I'm hanging by a thread. Complete annihilation of my mind. At the end of my rope, everything seems fine. Take a look inside my head and see that I'm dead, but press on to just please the ones who let me decay. This is how it was meant to be, a worthless body left astray. We all fucking fade away. No mercy, all pain. No mercy, all pain. Apparently, I earned to feel this way. No mercy, all pain. Fuck your opinion of me. I'll never change my ways. I lost my mind long ago. Now I'm somebody no one knows. Depression dragging me down below. Now I'm somebody no one knows. Take a look at me and tell me what you see. Motherfucker, what do you see? 
I lost my mind long ago. Now I'm somebody no one knows. Depression dragging me down below. Now I'm somebody no one knows. So (laughs) this reminds me of like in school when you had an English assignment and your teacher was like, read this and then explain to me what it means. And you read something where someone is like, I was very depressed. And your teacher's like, what do you think they meant? And you're like, I feel like they meant they were depressed. I think and then, they were depressed. And then yeah. your teacher's like, actually, what they were talking right. about is all of these other things. The and internal, you got yeah. a, you. That was a C yeah. assignment that you just did. Right. So all of that to say, I uh, was it the last episode we just recorded where we were saying, you know, metal lyrics yeah. don't typically beat around the bush. And like a lot of other genres, even though there are songs about the exact same topic, right. about suicidal thoughts, about suicidal tendencies, about depression. Yeah. There are songs from every genre about that topic. Not many of them outside metal music are that explicit, are right. that they, like, not are that poignant, yeah. you know? Um, and, and to your point too, I feel like it's the same song done by a different artist, done by a completely different artist, and it sounds completely different. It's their mm-hmm. own, um, uh, so talking about the the last one that we did, the um, With Insight, mm-hmm. right? Um, same sort of concept, right? Struggling with um, the enemy inside you, right? Mm-hmm. And and losing control and not feeling like you can get out of the pit that you're in, mm-hmm. right? Um, but it's a, a metalcore version or a deathcore version. Mm-hmm. And it's a completely different song. Yeah. Um, same sort of concept. And I think that's a really good compare and contrast. If, yes. Um, between yes. the two genres. I didn't even mean to do that. Um, yeah. So. But it's true. I... I I don't know. I really like that in metal music across the board, you have lyrics that are just direct. You don't have to kind of like read between the lines. You don't have to guess Mm -hmm. what the, and not to say that that doesn't exist in metal music, but like typically lyrics are pretty straightforward. And I really like that. I like that, you know, exactly the journey you're going on with them. Absolutely. Anyway, I super liked the song. Um, I say super like a lot. You super do. I should stop. That's should stupid. Super smash that like button. Super smash bros. <laughs> um, <laughs> two these guys dudes some love. sitting five um, feet apart in a hot tub because they're not gay or whatever the. Yeah. That one. That one. Um, <laughs> go show them some love. Follow them yeah. on Spotify. Follow them. I'm sure they have a Facebook page that we'll yeah, link. We'll link whatever. Yep social media they have accessible we will link that in the description box down below for you to follow uh yeah if if you liked them a lot buy some merch i know um all bands especially those that are underground right now um that's the best way you can support them yeah is buying some merch and sharing them with because they all plan to sell merch all summer long and here we are almost halloween almost not summer almost not summer yep uh anyway Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, I don't care. And <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say I apologize, but I don't apologize because oh. I like this video. Yeah. Um, we will be posting a few more of these underground bands this week. Yep. And then uh, we'll see where we go from there. Absolutely. We'll see you guys next time.